Today we're back with ECP and another booster part four this time. So remember guys, if you've got any friends that are doing an ECP video, please share the video with them. We need to grow our community here and I hope you're finding these videos useful. If there's any vocab in particular that you need help with, again, get in touch and we'll see what we can do for you, okay? Alright, let's get to it. So, first words, we've got some great ones today. To overtake. Now, to overtake is usually used, maybe you're in a race, or you're competing with someone else, or perhaps you're driving. So if you're overtaking, you are going past someone. So here you can see, um, there, there, it, well, it depends in which country <laughs> you are. I think this is obviously in England, because you've got the gold car, and the red car is overtaking. If you're in Europe and you drive on the other side, yeah, it gets pretty confusing. Anyway, so going past, same thing in a race. If someone's running, you're trying to overtake them to win. Um, a company, one company might try and overtake another one, become more successful. So overtake. And you might see this sign as well, which means no overtaking. To pass. The car overtook the bus because it was going too slowly. To convey something. So you could convey your apologies, convey your thanks to someone, convey a message. All right. So you can see here these two are talking and one person is conveying something to someone else. To transfer or deliver. So you would say to someone, he finds it difficult to convey his feelings. In other words, to explain or show how he feels to people. Or you could say, can you convey my regrets to John for not attending the party? In other words, you're sending a message with someone, so when they see John, they're going to say, oh, by the way, so-and-so says he's really sorry that he can't come to the party. This is conveying a message, carrying it with you to aggravate. Oh, this is a really good one. So if something is aggravating you, <laughs> it is making you annoyed. Like, as you can see, this bear doesn't look like the happiest bear on the planet. In fact, it looks rather peeved. You definitely do not want to aggravate it. So to make something worse or anger so if someone says to you, uh, you're starting to aggravate me, you're starting to annoy them, they're telling you basically, whatever it is, stop what you're doing. Oh, you're starting to aggravate me. I never realized that I'd use that example. Um, this will only aggravate the situation. You're politely saying to someone that what you're about to do isn't actually going to help. You may be trying to help, but you're not to aggravate. To dent. Well, if something is dented, it is usually damaged. Okay, so maybe you receive a box in the post and it is dented. Also, the dreaded, the awful, if you're driving and someone hits you or you hit someone else, the chances are that your car is going to be dented. The metal will be kind of bent in, which is never a good thing. Like if you squeeze a can of Coke, you can dent the can. So to damage or bend inwards is to dent. He crashed his car and dented the bonnet. So the bonnet is the very front part of the car, yeah, that protects the engine. Attached to and detached. So attached literally just means stuck to. So you could use um, white tack or blue tack to attach something to the wall, perhaps sellotape to attach it, and detach is take off, yeah, is the opposite of attach pretty much. Um, like this is a perfect example of a detached house. It's all by itself. There are no houses attached to it. Stuck to or fixed to. Please find the attached email or a lot of you will see this, um, there's an attachment to the email, you have an email, maybe there's some uh, photographs, 
with it. And I've decided to live in a detached house. You may also hear people say he's detached from reality, which means woo, he's got his head in the clouds. To accumulate. If you accumulate something, oh yes. So, <laughs> this is a great picture. <laughs> You can see here that water has accumulated in, yeah, a hole in the road. And yes, it is in a ginormous hole. So big, in fact, that someone's trying to fish in there. <laughs> um, hopefully you don't see this where you live. Um, so, to accumulate means to gather or collect something. Or another word we use for it, amass. Yeah, to collect. So you can accumulate money, accumulate supporters. What we're trying to do, we want to accumulate subscribers, please. Um, he accumulated a lot of money. Gathered. Water accumulated in the potholes. So potholes are the big holes in a road, or the holes in a road. That, I don't even know what you call that. That's not a pothole, that's a chasm. To be redundant. Uh, if something is redundant, it's not used. So we use this in a variety of ways. So first of all, if you are made redundant, yeah, it's your boss who's doing the kicking and he's kicking you out of the company. In other words, you're being fired, sacked, let go, your contract is being terminated. Oh yes. In English, we have loads of ways of firing people. Ah, <sighs> go figure. Um, also, um, we would, could use it for maybe a room in your house or a space in your office. You could say this space is redundant, in other words, not used or perhaps not used effectively or properly. So he was made redundant last week, Luke lost his job. This space is redundant, we should try and use it for something else. Some people's brain is redundant, they don't use it. Uh, to relinquish. To relinquish uh, is to let go of something or to surrender or give up. Um, so you could see this person, two American footballers, one was running with the ball. Obviously the whole point of the game is you don't just relinquish the ball to another player. So the other player <coughs> tackled him to get the ball. To give up or release. As I said earlier, so the dictator refused to relinquish his, tr uh, his control of the country. Yeah, once he had the power, he didn't want to let it go. Hence, dictator. To deviate from. Uh, so, if you deviate from a plan, you don't follow the plan. Or if you deviate from the instructions, you don't follow the instructions. So maybe your friend said to you, don't feed my snake. But of course, you had to feed the snake because it must be awesomely cool to watch. And then this happens, your friend gets back and you're in trouble. In fact, yeah, it looks like a possum or a rat. That snake must be hungry. To stray from or not follow. Do not deviate from my instructions. To diverge and converge, you'll see these words a lot and they're really useful. So if something diverges, it means it goes apart and converge is the opposite, which means it comes together. So here you can see, well depending how you look at, look at it, if you're standing in the middle of the crossroads, all the roads are diverging or, you know, all the w roads converge, come together. And we use this in several different ways. We could use it uh, metaphorically. Our opinions diverge on this topic. In other words, we do not agree. We don't see eye to eye. The two roads converge up ahead. The two roads become one. All right, so that's it for another video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.